How to use PySpark and SQL in Python. That's today's video. Let's dive right into it. Let's do full install from scratch. So first, uh, we want to do pip install PySpark. Let's open up git bash and pip install PySpark. Okay, so after the installation has been successful, next we go ahead and do pip install spark sql magic and this allows you to use sql commands in python so now that that's done next we need to go ahead and install java so we'll just go ahead and install this one install okay so once java has been successfully installed we can go ahead and now install um the latest Spark. We'll choose the latest release, and for the choose package type, we're going to do pre-built for uh, Hadoop 2.7. And go ahead and click this download. Let's click on the first one. Once the download is complete, let's open it in the folders. We want to extract the contents. Now we paste the extracted folder into C program files. And spark so let's go to file explorer let's go to our c drive and then let's create a new folder called spark double click go back to the downloads folder cut this folder and paste it here next we want to set the environment variable spark home to point to this folder so to do that we'll open windows and then type environment and then the first one open environment variables on the bottom here and then here underneath user variables for owner we want to create a new environment variable uh, here so click on new variable name will be spark home and then the variable value that's the path so go ahead and browse the directory we've put it into the c drive and we've put it into spark and this is the folder we want click ok click ok click ok okay um after adding uh the new spark home environment variable we also want to add uh, the bin directory to the path variable so underneath path here we want to go ahead and click edit and here so this is the bin directory right so let's copy let's double click into here and then copy this directory click on new here in the environment variable for the path and then we paste this in okay 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 ah uh, Okay, so the main problem was that Java installation was inside the um, program files uh, 86. We want to cut the folder inside there and basically put the Java folder directly in the C drive. So C, Java, and then the Java files. Once we do that, we update the environment variable uh, path for Java home. So Java home is now just C backslash Java. Once we change that, restart your laptop, and then you should be able to uh, start a Spark session in your Jupyter Notebook environment. So uh, here is what it looks like. You import PySpark and a Spark session, and then we start the Spark session like this. And here I was just doing a comparison, uh, reading a relatively large CSV file, a couple of gigabytes and comparing pandas which took one minute 14 seconds and here's what the data looks like with uh, 30 million rows compared to reading this same csv with spark and that took 6.3 seconds we can also do this dot head to show what the data looks like and here is the spark sql magic and we can use sql commands to select data between two times for example that's all for this video. I hope that helped you with setting up Spark to use in your data science projects, especially when you have really large CSV files. Let me know in the comments below if that was helpful. 
and if it doesn't work, then you know as well.